What's going on family? Robert here. So we've been in this story looking at how Dina got defiled by Shechem. And we've seen over the last couple devotionals how Shechem tried to right the wrong that he did by trying to marry Dina after she was raped. And then we see some of the ulterior motives, both by Jacob's sons and trying to incapacitate the men of Shechem by causing them to be circumcised, and then also the ulterior motives by the men of Shechem to want to take all of the possessions of Jacob and his family. And we see what happens after these ulterior motives have been brought to light, that it ultimately amounted to nothing, that it was ultimately became foolishness. But now, as we can conclude looking at this story, as we conclude this very sad story in the book of Genesis and in the life of Jacob, we see the last point of the story. And the last point is simply this, that wrong is wrong. I started out my devotional saying that, and I'm going to conclude it with that statement, that sometimes wrong is just wrong. Genesis 34, beginning at verse 30, says these words. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have brought trouble on me, making me odious to the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites and the Perizzites. We are few in number, but they unite against me and attack me. I and my household will be destroyed. But they answered, Should he treat our sister like a prostitute? They answered, should he treat our sister like a prostitute? Here, as we conclude this story, we see Jacob being upset at his two sons, Simeon and Levi. Upset they went after the men of the city of Shechem and upset that they took all the possessions. Jacob was now incredibly concerned about the optics and about what would occur if the people of the land assimilated themselves together and attacked Jacob and his family, that they would be completely destroyed. And Jacob had the right focus. He had the right fear. He had the right um, concern to be worried about. But his, his sons, Simeon and Levi responded in the right manner. They responded with the right perspective. Their response was, should, essentially, should we let this injustice go unchecked? Should we let this wrong go unchecked? Should we have let Shechem defile our sister? Treat her like a prostitute. And the response to that, for most of us, is absolutely not. This We should not have let this injustice go forth. This is wrong. It is clearly wrong. And in this context, in this story, it was probably the right thing to do. But as Christians, and as believers in Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us that if somebody causes, slaps you on the right cheek to give them the left. And if somebody takes your cloak, takes your coat, give them your cloak as well. We are called not to be agents of vengeance. We are called not to be tit for tat. We are not called not to, if somebody pokes out our eye, that we poke out both of their eyes. But we are to leave vengeance to the Lord. We are to leave wrongs done to us to him, to trust him to accurately and perfectly bring about resolution. And so the question that Simeon and Levi asked to Jacob, should he treat our sister like a prostitute? Our response to that would be like, should be, Lord, you know how to handle it best. Let us trust you. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, this is a story of wrongs all around. Wrongs of Dina 
being defiled, wrongs of the manipulation of both Shechem and the man of the city, wrongs of the manipulation of Jacob's sons, wrongs of Simeon and Levi going and killing all the men. Wrong, 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 wrong. But I believe what we can see is right in this story is that as believers in Jesus Christ, we aren't to respond like this. We aren't to respond to wrongs in a way that seeks for our good. But we are to trust you to know that vengeance is yours and that you will repay perfectly. And even if we don't see it, Lord, help us to trust that you are working it out. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.